Hi, I'm Handy Jeff, and this is my clapped out 98 Jeep Wrangler. And today we are going to be fixing some of the turn signals. I'm going to show you how to rewire one. So if you need to rewire a turn single because you broke one of the bulb casings or something off or the sockets, I will show you exactly what you need to do. So let's get to it. All right, so a step of one here. I'm going to use a bad accent in this entire video because why not? So what you got to do is get yourself a nice little kit. It's got zip ties, got some electrical tape, got some heat shrink, got all your little connectors, and I've got some wire strippers someplace here, so I'm going to go grab those. If you need this, the link is in the description. It makes life way easier. All right, bad accent's done. Okay, so I actually just realized something. This particular turn single running light that goes right there isn't off of this vehicle. You pull up your wiring loom here. These are different different colors, but luckily the previous owner had crimped them, so the only one that's wrong is the green one, and it goes to the brown, so green to brown. So we're literally going to strip these and just crimp these together, and that's how it works. And you want to pay attention to your wiring colors because, you know, you want black and yellow together, you're going to want the green and the brown together, and you're going to want the straight black together as well. So we're gonna do that. Let me show you how. Get your wire stripper, bring you back a little bit here, and you figure out what size this is. I think this is gonna probably be a 16. So we spin her around, pull her off just like that. And you do that to the rest of them. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this will probably be sped up a little bit so you don't have to sit here and watch me do all this. All right, so as you can see, you've got all three of those are clean. Now you gotta do it to the actual wiring harness on the vehicle, which is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, just like I said before, you pull out your crimp connections. I'm going to use these little guys because they're smaller than most of the other ones that are in this kit. So we're going to need three of them because there's three wires. But you also want your three pieces of heat shrink that we're going to use. And we're going to pull this wiring harness as far as you can. Now I can cut these. I'm just going to see how, yeah, I'm going to end up having to cut them. So we're going to cut each of these into about, no, oh, a half. We'll try that, see how it ends up. If it wants to break. And that'll work there. We'll just slide her on. And we're gonna do that to the other three. Okay, so you saw me struggle with that first one. Let me show you how it's actually supposed to work. Use these brand new ones that are in the, the kit and it just cuts right off just like it should. Those other ones are kind of older pair that I've had for a while. So anyway, just put these bad boys on there just like yay. So now we've got three pieces of heat shrink right there. Okay, so you slide that crimp cable down, her terminal down on there and then you will use the bottom of the pliers to crimp that on there. Make sure your wire's in there far enough. Squeeze her down so that it won't move, just like that. Perfect. And now I realized I'm missing my heat shrink, so we'll put the heat shrink back on. And we're gonna do that side of the terminal, or the wiring harness on all of them, so let's just speed this process up. <laughs> Okay, now that we've got those three on, those three sides on, we just match the wires up. Now remember, the brown on this one is the green wire, so I'm actually going to do it first so that we don't mess that up. It's all about thinking proactively. Well, since we're dropping stuff, let's take this bulb out, what do you say?
This is a little difficult to do when it's just you. If I had an extra pair of hands and I wasn't trying to film this, this would be no problem. Okay, we're just gonna speed things up here a little bit. All you have to do is connect the remaining wires to wires using the crimpers. And there we go. We've got that. Now we're gonna slide our heat shrink on and then shrink it down. So let's slide that heat shrink over what we just placed on there those little crimp connections. I'm trying to get it so that you guys can see it. Just like that. And then you get your lighter out and just heat that stuff up. It's called heat shrink for a reason. It shrinks in the heat. Try not to light your a wiring harness or anything else on fire. Make sure you're not around any gasoline when you're doing this. But that creates a nice little seal. Around this stuff, you know, if you use a more intense lighter, it definitely shrinks down faster. But this will protect your connections from water, which is important because this is on a Jeep. Just like that, you've got it. So if you found this video helpful, then make sure you like and subscribe. Drop a like for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you in the next video. Andy Jeff out.